Hi everybody and welcome to my kitchen. Last week I showed you how to make some homemade pasta, so today I'm going to show you how to make this. A delicious tagliatelle carbonara. This is the ingredients that you're going to need for a delicious carbonara. I've got some pancetta, eggs, garlic, parmigiano reggiano, some cream and salt and pepper. That is literally it. Let's start cooking. Everything comes together for this recipe so, so quickly. So let's do a bit of prep first. I'm gonna separate my eggs. I want two egg yolks and one whole egg. Next, I'm gonna peel and chop my garlic. Finally, I'm gonna grate my cheese. All right, that looks like it's enough. For my carbonara, I'm gonna be using some homemade tagliatelle. If you wanna learn how to do it yourself, click the card up here. I have some boiling water from the kettle, which I'm gonna put into a pot. And I'm gonna generously salt this and I'm gonna bring it back to the boil and that's where I'm gonna cook my pasta. I've got a pan here coming to temperature and I'm gonna throw in my pancetta. It is quite fatty, so I'm not adding any extra oil. While my pancetta is frying up, I can get the rest of our sauce together. So here I'm gonna throw in my eggs. I like to add a little bit of cream and then season with some salt and pepper. And give it a whisk. Finally, I'm gonna mix in the cheese. And that's it, that's your sauce. Okay, my pancetta is getting a bit of color and releasing a bit of oil or fat. So I'm gonna go in with my garlic and cook that down too. Okay, I think the garlic just needs a little second more, but in the meantime, my water's come to the boil, so I'm gonna go in with my fresh pasta. Because it's fresh, it literally takes two minutes to cook. I'm just gonna shake off a bit of the excess flour. And I'm gonna give them a stir. And they will be done once they flow to the surface. I'm gonna turn the heat off my pancetta and garlic. Just leave that to one side for now. Keep a close eye on your pasta. It cooks so, so quickly. Okay, looks like my pasta's done. So I'm gonna put it straight into the pan with the pancetta and the garlic. Don't worry if you get water in there. And Mix this up a little bit. Use the starchy water to deglaze the pan a little bit. And next we go in with our egg and cheese mixture. We want to mix this really well. We want the residual heat from the pasta to actually cook the eggs, uh, melt the cheese, and give us a nice, rich sauce. My noodles are a little bit long, so they don't let me mix properly, but it's okay. If you feel you need to, um, maybe your mixture is a little bit too thick, you could add a bit of extra cream, or to give it this super glossy appearance, you could actually use some of the starchy water that you use to boil your pasta, and put a little bit on here as well, that would be amazing. I'm gonna take the tiniest bit. and mix that through. With a carbonara, you want the sauce to coat all of your pasta. You don't, you don't pour sauce over it. It's all stuck to the pasta itself. 
Okay, so just like that, we're ready to play. Just make sure you get some of that pancetta in there. For the final touch, just a sprinkle more of Parmesan cheese. And although I know this is not traditional, I like a little bit of chopped parsley on top as well. Don't go for me in the comments. And that is your delicious carbonara. I cannot wait any longer. My stomach is rumbling. I need to dig into this, this very second. It is perfection on a plate. That homemade pasta, mm. And the parmesan is coming through. A delicious saltiness from the pancetta. But I do feel the parsley gives it this extra freshness. You saw how quickly this dish comes together. There's no excuse not to make it. Try it right now. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna keep it short. I need to finish this dish right now but you can see how quickly you can make a delicious meal such as this. If you made my homemade pasta and you keep it in the freezer, you can have a delicious, fresh carbonara every day of the week. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this. If you enjoyed this recipe, make sure you check out my series of traditional Irish food, Mexican-inspired food, and Italian-inspired food. You're absolutely gonna love it. With that, I'll leave you for this video and enjoy. Bye. Ah. Uh, 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 that was weird.